This is the homework help video for lesson 6.1, Rectangle, Rhombi, and Squares. Remember, you should only be using this video after you've put in a solid 20 minutes of individual effort. If you don't know what to do, work yourself down this list. Taking a look at problem number five, it says JKLM is a rectangle. Trace the following in two different colors and label. Very important that you trace and label in two different colors. So we're going to trace JN, trace J to N, that's going to be in green, and we're going to label in green, or you can use whatever color you have handy. We're going to do KM in red, so K all the way to M is in red. Of course, that is 5x plus 14. Now, be really careful here. Students' instincts is this. They just look at the algebra, and they just immediately go like this. Problem with that, if you were to solve for x there, you would get a whole number. And you guys assume whole numbers are automatically right. But in this case, you'd be wrong. So do not immediately just randomly make stuff equal. Very important, you just don't throw algebra together. Instead, you ask yourself about things. Things first. What is the relationship between the actual segments themselves? So I'd like you to trace JN again. Physically trace it. Get your pencil on your paper and trace it. Physically trace it. Now trace KM. Physically trace it, please. Ask yourself, what is the relationship between those two segments? Don't worry about the algebra. Write out that relationship. Once you've established that relationship, then you set up an equation, solve for x, show all your work, also find the length of Jn and Km, show all your work. It says, mark the given information directly on the diagram. Trace KM and trace JN in two different colors. So let's look at our given information here. And again, we're going to use two different colors. So here we have KM. Let's trace that. K all the way to M. We're going to do that in blue. Trace it. And then we're going to label. If you can label in the colors, that helps. That's going to be 8x minus 4. And then here, we also want to trace JN. We're going to do that in red. And that's 14. Okay, so ask yourself, what is the relationship between the blue segment and the red segment? Write that relationship out. Use that to solve for x. Once you have that, you want to solve for all possible, underline that, all possible angle measures and segment lengths. Now, we have some angle measures here. I want you to very carefully trace this with me. N K, J. Put your pencil on N. We do N. Go to K. Go to J. Trace and sweep. That is 56 degrees. Now, using that information, you want to solve for every angle and every side possible. Here's a big hint. At some point in this process, you are going to need to use the My Best Friend to do this properly. At some point in this process, you're going to have to use something on this page to find either an angle or segment length. But your goal is to find all possible angles and segment lengths.
It says in the rhombus below, STUV, we're going to mark STU with 38 degrees. Put your pencil on S, go to T, V. That is 38 degrees. Segment UT, so U to T is 10. From this, you're going to find all possible side lengths and angle measures. A couple things you want to watch out here for is, of course, you have a right triangle here. At some point, that's going to come into play. Again, if you have a right triangle, surprise, surprise, something from the My Best Friend is going to come in handy here. So watch out for that, either this or this side. You also want to watch out for the fact that these diagonals bisect the corners and use that to help you find your angle lengths. I want, this is a squeeze the sponge problem, I want all possible side lengths and angle measures, every single one of them. Make sure you show all your work. You should have a full page of work. Number 12 says, you are a contractor building a door frame. In the contracting business, you must be both accurate in your work and efficient. Time is money. The faster you do something, the more efficient you are, the more you get done, the more you get paid. As you put in a door frame, so your goal is to put in a door frame, install a door frame here. You must assure the door frame is a perfect rectangle with perfectly squared corners. You only have a tape measure at your disposal, nothing else. Explained below what would be the fastest way with the fewest steps to assure the doorway is a perfect rectangle, that's your goal using only a tape measure. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but I want you to go back to this and ask yourself, what do you know about a rectangle? This is key. Ask yourself, what kinds of things do you know about a rectangle that a tape measure might help you to do to assure? I'd like you to both draw a diagram, and you should be writing at least two to three sentences explaining how to do that.